Hey there guys, Skippy here from Skippy 6 Gaming coming to you from uh, Tutorial Land with Tutorial Love and this is today's curse tutorial. This is the third time making it and yeah, so we're going to do an underwater airlock door. This is actually quite easy. I've seen so many on YouTube that are so hard and actually this is as easy as it gets. As you can see, you can put it in the water and this wall will be totally secret. You will not see anything. Um, if you go over here, I will show you how to connect the lever after but you press this in guess what money in the bank go on in it could be a base it could be a room it could be a chest room or whatever if you're doing it this way then you could close it if you really wanted to and uh, or open it and go back in and uh, swim your way back up and you're feeling like a champ so I think for this one here guys let's go for 413 likes if you are one of the first 413 people to like the video let me know in the comments below which one you are and you could be as cool as Razor. Razor is a 164th Shoutouts to Razor, and uh, you two could be featured on the next episode. So, I think what we're going to do here is tell you what you need, guys. For this build, you're going to need four redstone repeaters, one redstone, or one comparator, two levers, one cauldron, one bucket of water, 12 redstone dust, 15 sticky pistons, two redstone torches. Actually, I think it's, uh, yeah, it's two redstone torches. And uh, just bring a half a stack of blocks, two wooden gates, and you should be good to go. Um, I'm going to show you how to close it from the inside, which will involve an additional sticky piston if, uh, if you want it. So, you let me know. And uh, yeah, I'll do it at the end. So basically, find the wall of the water, the water source area that you want, and uh, just dig out behind it. Leave this however it is natural and survival, you know, whatever's there, you know, as long as it's not sand or gravel, uh, you should be good, but stone or andesite or whatever. And yeah, dig it out behind the wall, and we're going to leave it solid so that it's easier to build. So put yourself a 5 by 3 one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, right up to the wall. Once you've done that, grab your blocks of choice and do these back four, just like this. Once you've done that, grab your redstone repeater. You're going to put one here on four ticks delay, one here with zero delay. And uh, or one tick, I guess, it's whatever it is, you guys got it. Redstone dust all the way around, and a torch right here and right here. Go ahead and grab yourself a sticky, throw this stickies right on top of these guys. Once they've done this, now we're going to go through the process of creating very similar to a Jeb door. Let's go ahead and put a solid block on here. We're going to put a sticky piston right here. We're going to also put a cauldron right here with a bucket of water. So this is going to hit a comparator, which is going to help us along our way. And uh, yeah, so let's get this Jeb door love ready. So basically, you guys know how to make a Jeb door. It's going to involve six sticky pistons, one right here, one right here, one right here, one right here, as well as one right here and one right here. Don't put any blocks in there because the blocks that are supposed to go there are the ones that are holding the water back. So we're going to leave those. Let's go ahead and put this guy here, this guy here, and let's go back here as well. Right here, right here, right here, and right here. Guys, you're so close to done, it's not even that far away. So now that we've done this, let's go ahead and just uh, seal our tunnel up one past these guys and you know what let's go ahead and put these guys here too right there right there right there right there now that that's done we could go ahead and go over here and we're gonna put block 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 go ahead and throw your comparator right here that comparator into dust is gonna go right here and here grab a redstone repeater both sides two ticks just like every other Jeb door in the history of the world and once that's done, you should feel good. We're just going to throw a couple more pieces of dust here and here. And we're cooking with gas. So now if you take this lever, 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 whatever you want, let's go ahead and it should be good. But first, last but not least, let's make sure that we put our fence gates there. We're going to want these fence gates right here. And we're going to want them open. And there you go. As I explained... These blocks right here are whatever your wall is. So for us, we're using glass right now, but if it was stone, it would be stone like on the other side. And let's go. So I'm just gonna actually yeah, leave that there. So let's trigger. Looks good. Let's go to the other side and make sure that the 
glass is all there that's perfect let's go ahead and make these stone just so it's easier for everybody to see moving forward and yeah so now everybody is excited they're saying hey how do I open, how do I bring this lever up? So honestly guys, what I do to bring the lever up is very simple. I'm gonna put two right here, and then I just stare it up to wherever I want. You can put this guy here, this guy here. I didn't include this stuff in the ingredients, but make sure you put a redstone repeater right there. And if anything, actually, we can just go ahead and zigzag up now. Right here, right here, and right here. So bring your redstone dust down and put a lever right here. It's closed and yeah, that's because this torch, this lever needs to go and we're good. So now we can open and close it from here. And then the other thing is people are going to say, Skippy, how do I close the door from inside? So the easy answer to that question, I believe is... Hmm. The way I would do it would be to see this is kind of drawn around, but the best way to do it actually is going to be just grab yourself a sticky piston. And again, you can you can drag this up different and make it a little closer, but grab yourself a sticky piston, put a block on the face. And there you go. This guy's going to be your inside closer. So when you're inside, people can't uh, bother you. So now basically the door is open. So you open the door, you go inside. Once you go inside, then you go over here. And there you go. And then something like this is going to give you the opposite and cut the signal off. This isn't exactly official the way I did it, but I'm just showing you basically how you're gonna add something like that at the last minute. Because uh, if you were to go like this, you let the signal through again but again that's not the totally technical way you're gonna end up using some sort of secret input but there you go guys underwater airlock door for the win i love it i love it i love it it's super cool and uh it's awesome thanks for tuning in guys don't forget to smash that like don't forget as well to subscribe to my channel for some more cool airlock doors tutorials let's plays and news updates and there you go guys thanks for tuning in and i'll catch you on the next one